story, you wouldn't believe it. That's alcohol. Yeah, of course. It's brandy. Yeah. So calm me nerves. Mother, I don't need anything to calm my nerves, okay? I'm fine. That's one stupid thing about you, doctors. You always believe that. You know everything. Anyway, you're telling me about the person that stabbed you with a broken bottle. Yeah, quite a person. I don't know how you got involved with such cat. But then you should know that it's not my fault at all. It wasn't my fault. Whose fault was it? Just tell me, what happened? Look, Amanda, you will have to promise me not to say anything there against you. I promise. I promise. Okay. So I closed from work very early today. I wanted to go over to Femis to make up because we, we've had problems for quite some time and we just came back together. Okay. And he promised and made me understand that I was the only woman in his life and any other woman was over with. Okay. We're having a lovely evening and this woman just walked in, claiming to be Femi's girlfriend. <laughs> she made me understand the fact that even though Femi said he was done with her, she wasn't done with Femi yet. And that any woman who comes close to Femi would have to go with a scar like this. Just slow down. Are you saying Femi's ex fought you? If I said ex, it would have been better. I said Femi's girlfriend. And please, Amanda, stop being danced. I said someone was wild. She is wild. You think she kissed my hand? Oh, I didn't say anything. Sorry. Well, I still wonder how you've been so blind to think that anything Amanda! Seriously, you're you better off Oh. So no. These are the drugs that you've been needing. If you go down to the pharmacist and then you go in. You see me back in two days. Okay? Okay, okay. Ready to see your mother. This is the office of one Dr. May, born on May Day. Oh my god! <laughs> You had better. I'm standing right here. Wow, you are such a bad boy. How come you never told me you were coming back? I mean, we just spoke two days ago. Well, what can I say? I wanted to surprise you. Oh. Yeah, you. Were I wanted to surprise you. Yeah, you really did surprise me. <laughs> Sit down. Wow. Mm. And please, I'm quite grown up now, okay? So stop calling me that name. Actually, you look really nice. I do? Yes, you do. Thank you. And I must say, you look great yourself. Thank you. The medical profession quite agrees with you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> wow. Why are you back? Seriously. You know, I thought that your inheritance would be something that would really not make you come into the country for a long time. Ah, oh, you know me too well already, my dear. But. Let's just not go there right now, okay? I only came to take my favorite girl out to lunch. And I also want to show you something. Okay? Say no. Okay, I can only spare two hours because I'm busy. Yes! Yeah. Okay! I've missed you so much. Get out of here! No, let's go. I've missed you outside. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I love the lyrics of this song, it's really, wow. <laughs> it strikes a special chord in me, it's so beautiful. Hmm, okay. You really do like it, huh? Yeah. I can bet I have heard this before. What album is this? It's fine. Come on, you got to be kidding. No, I'm not. Seriously, I sang this song. Um, 
Can you give me? That's what you wanted to show me? Yes! A secret? Yes! Oh my days, this is awesome! That's what I went to America to do! <laughs> oh, Kim, I'm so happy! I know, I'm glad. I'm so glad you love this one. Wow. You know, I just... I, will, I just I wanted you to hear it first because I wanted your opinion. I couldn't think of anybody else to count on for a, a candid opinion, you know, an unbiased opinion. That's why I came. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Come on. Aren't you listening to this song? This is a masterpiece of heat. Look, if this song comes out, trust me, I don't know how the industry rolls, but believe me, it will sound like wildfire. Nobody does. Huh? Listen, music is in my blood. I think it, I dream it, I live it. Nobody understands me. Look, I'm sure that they would understand you the moment they listen to this song. This is a masterpiece, like I said. With this, you're capable of turning the industry upside down. No, Ken, I'm not flattering you. This is good. And anybody who listens to this would know that you were created for this act. Yeah. Great. Okay? Fantastic. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy. I'm oh. happy too. Oh. It's. <laughs> um, what's reality check? Okay. Look, I'm your friend and all, and for this, I am super, super, super mindly proud of you. But, but, what about your father's empire? Look, Emeka, my cousin, is handling that business quite well. And I don't intend to relieve him of it anytime soon. And your majesty? And what do you intend to do about your inheritance? Look, that is a part of you. No matter how hard you try to run away from it, it is your blood. It is who you are. I'll cross that bridge when I'm forced to confront it. Not anytime soon. <laughs> okay. Fine, I don't want to be the cute joy, okay? So I'm sure that you really do know what you're doing, Ken. I do. And I hope that your uncle, his majesty, would understand with you when the time comes. But for now, I'm loving this song. Can yeah, I yeah, sure. What are you doing here to pay some views, I guess? Yeah, I came to pay my um, TV subscription and internet subscription. Wow, you're looking so good. It's been ages, my dear. Uh, you too. Look at you. No trotter. I know. Being a stranger. Know. I know, I know. Look, you really, really have to forgive me. I'm so, so sorry. Yeah, I know work is a side excuse, okay? But look, I have been this busy. With a company involved in so many majors, I, I don't even have time for myself. Congratulations, congratulations. The other day I was with Ken and he kept going on and on about how proud he is and how you have taken the cup. Am I saying something wrong? It's okay. He's back to the country, is it? No, no. No, he spoke on the phone actually. You may not think I'm stupid. You just told me you saw him. Besides, I've been calling his international line for a couple of days now with no response. Oh my God, you I've know been... I can't do that. Okay, please. Something that's not so important. Oh my God, hi. I understand that you know the whereabouts of my nephew, Dr. Mayer. No. Oh, don't bother lying for Prince Ken. If anyone should know about his whereabouts, it's you. And that is because you have shared a very close relationship with him since you were children. Good Majesty. 
It's because of the close affection that I share with Ken that I cannot reveal his secret or so ever. Like I, like I said to you, oh my God, if he's ready to tell you where he is, he will. Just give him time to set me in, I think. Okay? Dr. May, you know as well as I do that it will take Prince Ken forever to be ready. Anyway, I am not here to argue the point with you. But as your sovereign king, I demand that you take me to him immediately. Your Highness, um, I beg to go and get ready. I was on my way out to work, and I have an emergency. I cannot believe someone's life is at stake. I probably will just show you the place in my way. Sure, you don't want to stay. Come on. Listen, the audition is like right about now, okay? And this may be my big break. Work, work, work. I've told you. Why do you bother? I can always manage to take care of you. You know I love my independence. Okay, please. Okay. okay. Can I go? Yeah. Oh, you darling. All right, sweetie. Take care. With due respect, Your Highness, I don't see why. I haven't done anything to be ashamed of. Oh, you don't? No. Tell me, why have you refused to pay a visit to the palace since you came into this country? If not, that may I bring me to this place. Tell me, where would you have deemed it fit to let me know that you are back to this country? Wait, wait, wait. May showed you the way to my house? Hey, you can't stop it, okay? Stop it. Don't drag me into this. You did the right thing and you know it. Okay? You know, I just want you guys to explain something. Why do I get the feeling that I'm suddenly being ambushed? Huh? No, you tell us yourself. Please tell us. If not that you have decided to run away from your responsibilities and your inheritance for crying out loud. Uncle, please don't start. Don't start with that again. You already know what my stand is or what you term my inheritance. I have no interest whatsoever in becoming the king of Uwana Kingdom. Whether you have interest or you don't have interest, I have not seen where you have any choice. Because I will not continue to stand in for you on your father's throne. I was asked to stand in for you because you were such a small boy when your father died. And I will not continue to be there. Now that you have grown into a full grown man, Prince, you have to do the right thing. Sorry, Your Majesty, but if what is right is taking over the boring role of judging, or sitting in one place, judging over those kingdom faithfuls, then I am not attracted. I mean, I have my own dreams and aspirations. For God's sake, what are these dreams and aspirations of yours? Tell us. I'm a musician, Uncle. And as strange as that may sound to you, that is what I love to do. 
That is what I went to America to do, and that is what I intend to do now that I have returned. Are you out of your mind? Prince Kennedy. Have you ever heard of a prince being a musician? Look, I will die first before ever you would think of destroying this kingdom. Sorry, Uncle, but it's already too late for that. My album is in the market already. What insolence? Now listen to me. You have five days to retrieve those insanity you call your album from the market. Do you hear me? I said five days. If not, you will not like the steps I will take against you. Me. Never told me what happened yesterday at Ken's place. No, I, I didn't go in. I just um, pointed out the place for them to look up. I'm sure your majesty will have a really, really mad Ken. Just a pity nobody understands him. Mm. Except you, you mean? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, except me. That's has to be expected, considering the fact that we grew up together. Our parents worked for their parents. And yeah, we were best friends. Mm -hmm. That's why both of you are like peas in the pot. <laughs> no, I'm still looking forward to seeing that attraction both of you feel for each other without even knowing it. That's a very long way to go. Ken is just like a brother that we never had to meet. And I'm sure, yeah, I'm also the same with him too. That sounds disappointing. Anyway, back to Ken. I don't understand why a guy like that will abandon all his royal rights and privileges with all the wealth attached to it and decides to become a petty pension musician. Mm -mm. If you get to know Ken, he has nothing, nothing close to his country. Trust me, man. No, why would he work? Why work at all? Anyway, if I'm the one with all the privileges, I'll just relax and go through for the rest of you. That's a choice thing, and yeah, thank God that you weren't brought up into that kind of family. No, but it's not a family thing. Friends are poor. There you go. There you go. Baby, what's what's wrong? You've been this way ever since those people paid you a visit and you haven't even told me what they were here for. What people are you talking about? The king, your uncle. You know how it is. Kings don't easily get out of their kingdoms and thrones just like that. Okay, okay. About my uncle. He was just feeling really bad that I haven't come to see him since I returned. So he decided to come himself. Wow. Ben, he must love you very much. Yes, he does. You know, he was the one who raised me after my parents died. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. He's so kind. I know it is. I mean, considering the fact that I was nothing to him but the gardener's son. He, he could have he could have decided not to care. But he did. You don't mean it. You better believe it. Okay, so let me ask you a question. What else haven't you told me, you know, concerning your background? Aside from what? Aside from the fact that you have the king as a surrogate uncle and that your parents were gardeners in the palace. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
nothing, nothing really except except the fact that <laughs> that I really, really love you. And if you wouldn't mind having a gardener's son as your husband, I would love to marry you. <laughs> what did you just say? I just asked you to marry me, Kendra, because I love you. Are you serious? Yes. Oh my yes. Oh my goodness. Just tell me why you have decided to seek me out today. Point of correction, Ken. I've been trying to seek you out ever since you returned to the country. A piece of information you didn't deem fit to pass across to me. Ken. I went as far as spying on you, but each time I found you, it's either you're busy with your two-bit girlfriend or with your music album. Okay, okay. So tell me why exactly you decided to seek me out today because I have a feeling that you didn't come here to tell me how displeased you are at my expense. What's your intention with Richard? How do you mean? I don't understand. Four years ago, I agreed to the second rent to hold the reins of an empire that practically belongs to you while you traveled abroad to pursue your dreams. Now you're back. It doesn't look to me one bit like you're thinking in that direction. <laughs> Emeka, what are you afraid of? Huh? Do you think that I'm going to ask you for five more years to think things over? On the contrary, Ken, I'm afraid I must have made an error in judgment in accepting to do this for you. Because apparently, as the years go by, you're becoming more and more irresponsible. How dare you say that I'm irresponsible, Emeka? You know that I will not take that from you. That is the height of disrespect. Wow. There he goes again, acting like a sovereign, and I wonder why. When you so readily deny your inheritance at the slightest provocation. Hello? Okay, please, can we stop beating about the bush? And you just tell me what exactly the point is today. My point exactly is this. That it's time you grew up. Face facts the way they are. Stop running away from your destiny. Stop making things difficult for yourself. Emeka, if the king sent you here today, go back and tell him that it will not work. I have made it known over and over again that I have no intentions of becoming king over Owana kingdom. As for the empire, I give you my promise, and I intend to stand by that promise no matter what. trying to tell me that you have a girl as a best friend and I didn't even know? Why is it so strange having a girl as a best friend? Okay. Now tell me more about this Dr. May. Okay. Um, May is actually a very delightful person. We practically grew up together. I mean, we were friends way back then and have remained friends ever since. I mean, 
She's just such an angel. Mm. Mm, baby, I don't know what you're talking about here. I hope she's not going to pose as a competition for your affection. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, you know what I find so funny? It's just typical of you women to get paranoid the moment you hear another woman's name mentioned. Okay, but not to worry, huh? May is such an angel, okay? Oh, here she comes. It's okay, I understand, okay? I thank you. Kendra, meet me. Me, meet Kendra, my fiance. I know. How have you been? I'm okay. So, why haven't you come? Femi! Femi! Jeez. Femi, I demand to know who she is or else I will kill her. No, no, Kendra, don't do this, please. Don't do it. Come on, relax. Femi, how could you? You cannot even wait for me to turn my back only for you to bring another whore into our apartment. I'll explain. I'll explain. Okay. Femi, what is going on here for God's sakes? She told me you were done with all your relationships. Who is she? So, you have the guts to open your mouth, right? Huh? You have the guts to open your mouth? Femi, open your mouth. Femi, open your mouth. May, is everything all right? Yeah, everything is fine. I, for a moment, I thought I'd, I'd seen her before. Hi, um, Kendra. <sighs> okay, now that we've all been properly introduced, can we just sit down and order? How how is it? Remember? <laughs> Kendra, you can let never let me have this town, would you? What about me? Well, she happens to be the best friend to my fiance. Would you believe that? God. Did she recognize you? Yes, she did. I gave her a wound that day, remember? Women don't easily forget. I think she could still have thoughts to care on what she knows about you. She doesn't know much about me, but from the little she does, I don't think she would. And you think she fell in for it? <sighs> Femi, listen, Dr. May or whatever she calls herself is not going to ruin things for me, okay? I have come too far to lose anything. Well. It's for you to stay focused and play your games well. Hmm? That doesn't have a chance of happening in hell, okay? It may have looked impossible before, but now that he's engaged me, there's no turning back. Mm -hmm. Let's go and have a little piece of the action. Mm, some more kisses, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mother, I was so devastated at the knowledge of who Ken's fiance is. 
friend's fiance. Oh, yeah, I remember him asking you to come out and meet them somewhere for lunch. Yeah. So, who is she? The same girl who did this to me. Hmm. What's her name? Kendra. <laughs> Ken is in love with her and he's going to get married to her soon. How did Ken meet such a character? Amanda, I have thought about this. Like seriously, what could have brought them together? They are two extremes. They don't even match your feet. You're not... Uh, uh, I, I doubt Ken knows who she really is. Hmm. Like what she's capable of doing. Um, and what she actually is. Well, I know what she did to you was not good, really, but... To be fair... I don't think you should judge her by that. Seriously. Maybe when you get closer to her, she might be sweet. Look, Amanda, you know that I am not that kind of person. I am not judgmental. But this girl is vicious. For God's sake, Amanda, she gave me the stare like she's never seen me in her life before. She was reintroducing herself for the first time according to her looks. She didn't even try to tell me like, oh, I know you or something or please don't tell Ken. She just looked me straight in the eyes and told me it was a pleasure to meet me. Like seriously, after doing this, I mean, if she's hiding that part of her life from Ken, what else? What else is she hiding? So, would you tell him? Ken, what did you just say? Majesty, I said I've come to inform you that I'm getting married so to the woman that I love. Mm -hmm. I see. And why did you not deem it necessary to bring her for me to see? I would have. But. The truth is, the woman in question does not know my true identity yet. She does not know that I am a prince. And I'm afraid that bringing her to see you would be the wrong thing to do at this time. And from what you just said now, Prince, I deduce that you do not trust the woman that you want to marry. And no one can build a life based on lies. Herein lies the burden of my real identity, Your Majesty. And no matter how hard I try, I cannot seem to run away from it. Then you stop running, Ken. No one can ever build a life based on lies. The kingdom, your father's throne, his wealth, and your inheritance. You have to come back. No, no, uncle. Besides, I don't want a woman to accept me simply because I'm a prince and heir to a multi-million Naira empire. I want... Alright, I'll see you at dinner. Huh? Thank you, bye. Hey, Boo Boo! Hey, baby. Who was that on the phone? Mm, that was a Mecca. Oh. Mecca... A Mecca my foster brother. I told you about him, remember? The prince, right? Yes, the prince. Okay, baby, has he agreed to be your best man? Yes. He has? Yes, he has. I mean, it's not like he has a choice. And guess what else? What? He also accepted an invitation to dinner. Wow. So you guys really get to know each other. Isn't that nice? Baby, yeah. I was thinking... Can I invite my brother to? Sure, why not? I can? I mean, I've never met the guy, so I mean, it would be a good chance for us to get to know each other and I can properly ask for your hand in marriage. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let me go call him right away. It's a pleasure meeting you. Ken has told me so much about you. Really? Yeah. Yeah, same here. 
And um, he also told me that you work with Rich Oils. Uh, can you tell me more about this company? Although I don't understand why a prince like you has to be working. And just like I don't understand your sudden interest in my place of work. Oh. Um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Um, please, pardon my sister, man. Um, <coughs> the thing is, I, I asked my sister to help me get a job. Yes, and as you can see, <laughs> she's virtually seen everyone as a potential helper. I mean, employer for me. <laughs> I see. Come on, Prince. Come on. You know, even if you don't employ my brother, I think it's only fair you tell me more about yourself. Since we're going to be indoors, isn't that correct, Ken? Hmm? What? Mm. Yeah, of course. Come on, Emeka. Tell her a little about, about your company. I mean, it's not gonna hurt, is it? All right. What we do is simple. My company is into the exploitation of crude oil and petroleum products. That's what we do. Voila! So you said it! <laughs> From the way you were acting, someone would have thought you were hiding like the nation's biggest secret. Oh, don't be too harsh on him, sis. I think he's trying to maintain some company's ethics, if I may say. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, baby, your tea. Let me get it for you, okay? Alright, alright. Mm. Very nice food, huh? Mm. This meal's really good, huh? Oh, see, I can't remember the last time I had such a meal. <laughs> oh, that was in Dubai. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much, love. You're welcome, baby. I didn't know you were a tea person, Ken. Some habit you picked up in the US. Nah, no. Actually, Kendra introduced me to it. Uh, she says it's really good for the male metabolism. Yes, that's true, my prince. I can get you some if you want. No, no, no. Thank you, I'm fine. I'll pass. Really? So, how are you two um, preparing for your wedding? Um, Kendra. Yeah? Baby, you're the man. Tell him. Okay. We have the hall already paid for. And, um, she has the wedding gown. She sees it to my ears. Good morning, Good morning, Claus. Uh, I didn't think you'd bring it. Dude, I was so tired this morning. I practically had to force myself out of bed. That's why it was the night. Ah. Don't be too I'm in love with Captain Hall for the night. Yeah, and we know that we're going to shoot the rate that you are. <laughs> I mean, um, I think I used to be a member of the Kenya's Power of Nights. Yeah, yeah, pretty much I do. How are you, man? I'm cool. Good. Oh, I this place sounds so good. One best of everything. Woo! Uh, oh, guys, why don't we just get to the business of the game? Yeah, that's not good. That's not good.
you. Who were you expecting? Lucy, come into the Lucy, okay? Ken can walk in any moment. Shh, shh, shh. I promise, Ken, you're not suspect anything. Hey guys. Hey. Let me say anything? <laughs> no. Any, anything like that word? But it's still Yes, it is. Oh, no. Nah. You can have this. This one's for me? Yes. Okay. Here you go. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. So refreshing. Thank you. You really know how to take it. Always. Thank you. I love you. Love you. <laughs> Are you coming or not? That's something I need to do. Okay, sure. <laughs> I'll write you right here. Sweet. Okay. Okay, I didn't see you coming up. I was distracted. Hey, how come I haven't seen you in a long time, doctor? You know how busy I get in the hospital. Every emergency call goes to me. Yeah. <laughs> so how are you? But I'm so sorry. Did you plan on opening a pharmacist? You can tell me. Uh, why are all those drugs for? Funny. Drugs are for you. I've not been feeling very well lately. And you decide to come to a pharmacist rather than a doctor in a hospital. You know how I feel about hospitals. I'm hospital. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. I can't even decide to come here. Oh, it's good to see you. So, how's Angela? Just fine. Okay. Look okay, at my doctor, okay? Right. I'll see you later. Uh, hey. No excuses. You have to be at the wedding, okay? You yeah, stop me from coming to my best friend. <laughs> All right. Come on, and piss off in your dressing now. We'll be late for the registry. <sighs> Doing my best, man. All right, let me help you. Your wife to be is already at the registry waiting. Uh, so let me help you with this one. Where's the wife's side? Are you all right? Your hands are shaking. Uh, my heart aches, and I'm feeling nauseated and delirious at the same time. For how long have you been feeling this way? I don't know, like a week, two weeks. Have you seen a doctor? No, I haven't been to see a doctor yet. What is wrong with you? No, really, are you crazy? Can you been here for two weeks and you didn't think the right thing to do is see a doctor? I didn't think it was anything to worry about, Emeka. You didn't think? That's the problem. You don't think. Well, I think that the right thing to do is call this wedding off, get you to see a doctor. Your health is more important if you ask me. No, no, no. <laughs> I can't possibly do that right now, okay? Can't. Okay, here's what will happen. I think I can manage to get through the ceremony. After that, you can take me to see a doctor, okay? Okay? Whether you like it or not, you will be seeing a doctor today. Sure, fine. Fine with me. You look terrible. Hey. Honestly. <laughs> Don't forget you're talking to a prince, okay? <laughs> really? <laughs> it, was, it was on the news this morning, you know? Prince, someone on a hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's, let's get you married. <laughs> All right, uh, Happy! <laughs> 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 
Is that all you can say? You've practically been in there all day with my husband and all you can say is you're not sure? Kendra, can you just stop? Please. Get a hold of yourself and let the doctor talk. It's okay. Right, it's fine. Please, doctor. I'm really, really sorry. Okay. That's okay. I'm sorry. It's so, right. what's the situation? Maybe I'm afraid it's not good news at all. What is going on? Is he dead? Is that it? No, he's not dead. When he was brought here, he started convulsing. So we administered some drugs to him and he's stabilized now. But that's not all. Okay, I'm, I'm listening, I'm listening. What else is wrong with him? King Ken is in a coma. And right now, he's breathing by oxygen. We found out that he's having difficulties breathing and we had to help him out with that. Goodness. Doctor, I... I must say I'm really alarmed at this news. My cousin has never been convulsive nor epileptic since I've known him. I mean, I've known him all my life. I'm worried too. Don't worry. Doctor, would you stop worrying and do something? That's my husband you've got in there, okay? We're supposed to be on our honeymoon right now. Calm down. He will be fine. We just have to hope that the result comes as fast as we know where to treat from, okay? Please, calm down. It's alright, it's alright, Doctor. Um, we'll just wait, okay? I'm trusting that you will be your best husband. Anyways, thank you for your answer. Thank you. Huh, what kind of doctor is this? having what we call myocardial infection. Um, what does that mean? I mean, what you just said. But the news that most likely might have a heart attack. Yeah, but I, I will do my best to stop that before it happens, okay? Okay, but from the observation, sorry. Uh, from the observation so far, do you really think it has a chance? Omeka, I won't stand here and lie to you. Okay, before it's over. Ken's situation is really, really bad. I just hope and pray that he responds to treatment. That's all I can say. As of this moment, we have not been able to identify the cause of the convulsion. Okay, with everything being said, I think it's best I just fly him abroad. That way, can have medical care that I can that I can at least be confident of. Stop panicking, okay? This affects every one of us here. And this is a specialist hospital. And because of cases like Ken's, that's why we exist. Anything they can do, we can do it. And where we lack strength, we can employ people abroad to come and treat him. Please, let's well, do our job. May you have to forgive me, okay? I am not going to be able to live with myself if, God forbid, anything happens to my cousin and then I wasn't able to explore all options available to me at the time. Please, I beg you. I can't understand what you're saying. But listen, the situation is very, very bad. Okay, he is very fragile at the moment. And flying him up and down or moving him up and down might harm him the more. Please, let us do our jobs. I'm like, I, I, I agree with Dr. May, you know. Ken looks too ill to be moved around, and besides, I have a feeling he's gonna get better sooner than we think. Um, excuse me. <laughs>
take a moment to think about it. What would the world be without love? Mm. First of all, you wouldn't even exist, Ken. Without love, you couldn't have been born. Yeah, yeah. This is a lot better now. Let's go into treatment. I'm so tired. Okay, why don't you go upstairs? Freshen up. Am I like the person who's going to eat? Thank you. Okay. But seriously, you must really love that guy so much to do what you did. I mean, being by his bedside for three sleepless nights trying to save his life. Huh. If you ask me, that's more dedication that, than is required of you by the medical profession. And how would you happen to know the kind of dedication required of a medical practitioner? I don't know. Well, I think that you love him very much. I told you countless times. I love him, yes, no doubt about that. But as a friend, you can keep lying to yourself. Hope his wife appreciates all you did for him. Wife? Yeah, wife. Kendra. Is there something you Of course, I know who you're talking about. Okay. Just a man that ever since Ken got into the hospital, Kendra has been there just once. That was the morning. And after that, I have not seen her again. That's wicked. It's really terrible. Then why did she marry the poor boy in the first place? Well, that's the question for the gods. You know, there's actually something about that girl I don't know. I can't pinpoint it. She's just... I'm beginning to see a point. She's thinking. Really thinking. Who's that? It's the hospital. Yeah, hello? Must... What? Are you serious? Oh my god. Okay, I'll be right there. Thank you very much. I have to be quick to the hospital. Now? Again, it's an emergency. I mean, you've been knocked out for a couple of days. So naturally, you should feel this way. See, I brought you back. Oh my God, Ken, I'm so glad. Glad to have you back. <laughs> I mean, Ken was still here. I called him on my way back. I'm so you have company very soon, okay? But You have a sweet one, by the way. I could hear it from afar, making it to me. Giving me warmth and hope. Thank you so much. You're fine. For now. We're good. Um, Ken, I'm sorry I, I, I couldn't be able to get to treat you right. 
but I promise you I'll go there as long as I can, okay? Well, well, well. So it is true. Welcome back to the land of the living. So happy to have you back. to God, first of all. But to him, him, your strength is incredible. I haven't had a passion in life. Yes, I wouldn't doubt it. My experience helped for all things that God's first. I really want it to be. Um, you have just limited time with my patient because he really needs to rest. Keep it low and fast. Huh? It's okay. I, I understand. Take his rest. Because he's still my client. Okay? I know. <laughs> I know. Alright. Take care. What are you trying to do? Die on me? Keep it quiet, frankly. So good to have you back in. to my house without knocking. Did you come and tell me that my husband is dead? Oh, that's what you really want to hear. Well, let me disappoint you. Ken is alive and will always be. Well, that's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, it's so good. I don't even sit down there trying to be happy about my meal because I know that you are not. I haven't seen that you have your hands full already. <laughs> you know, the both of you suit each other. I mean, you were really created for each other. Seriously. Hey, hey. Mind how you talk to me? No, don't you ever talk to me like that again, then. You should be ashamed of yourself. As a matter of fact, I am ashamed of myself for I haven't had anything to do with you ever in my life. God. You know, women like you make me puke. How dare you! Right? Don't you ever date? Oh gosh. I just came to inform you that your husband will be needing some semi-solid food. Do yourself some good and be useful to keep. What just happened? It's a beautiful day out there. I only wish I could take you out so you could see how beautiful the day is. It would have been lovely. Oh. She didn't stay. Hey, can I come in? Sure. Alright. How is it? Oh, he's in love as well. That was okay. Fine. Alright, that's good news. I am. Um, what you put? Um, nothing, Sonny. Oh, no, it's not. Um, Kendra told me you insisted um, some salad. Kendra? You visited her earlier today. Yeah. 
I just thought she would be the one to bring the food or something. Ah, no, come on now. You know actresses, you know how they are. They're historics. <laughs> she probably um, felt that her being here constantly would have her entirely disoriented, so she decided to stay away. That's not a problem. I'm um, gentlemen. I bet you take my leave. Me? Me? I hope you come read to me later. You know, when you're done with your shift. What's going on? You and me? How do you mean? How do I mean? Come on, man. I see sparks. Look, I'm not a child, you know. When I see chemistry, I can recognize it. And I see one between the both of you. So tell me what's going on and don't lie. To I am. Um... If you want to understand the mecca. I want to. How's Kendra, really? Um, I guess she should be fine, you know. Um, she's probably somewhere in the movie location, filming. You know how she is, your wife. <laughs> Society both for life. But, um... Somehow I think she's kind of broken though. You know, knowing that, um, you're still here. In her own way. I guess my... Sickness didn't affect her career in any way. Ah, uh, stop it. You knew this girl before you married her, didn't you? I guess I did. <laughs> mm, so enough with your pity party. Let's have you eat for the first time in weeks. All right. All right. Have you eat your first meal in weeks? Oh, you like? No. Come on. Come on now, don't make that face. You need to eat. <laughs> I'll make you eat. I just can't get over what I saw. I mean, this is just so disheartening. It's a lie. It's a lie. Mm -hmm. How can I be kidding about an issue as strong as this? Amanda, I saw what I saw. And the rage that took over me today was something that I've never experienced in my life. I feel like just choking her until she just gives up the ghost. Lord of mercy. That girl is wicked. So it means she wouldn't mind if something happens to Ken. What would she gain from that? I don't know. But one thing I can tell you is that on the way we were locked in each other's arms, the timing, Ken's in the hospital, she's at home doing that. He all tells me that she loves feeling like Ken. <laughs> you need to see the way they looked into their eyes like they were just married. Poor Ken, he puke. And to think that he must really love her to have asked her to marry him. But why would she consent to marry him if she doesn't feel the same way? That's a question I cannot answer. But something me really just tells me that Ken doesn't totally love her too. You're talking as if you're very sure of what you're saying. No, no, I'm not sure. I might be wrong. But she's body language and watching them. And by the way, it's just Ken I'm just worried about. What if he finds this out? Am I supposed to tell him I'm his best friend? <laughs> Some girls are very wicked. Hey, she's got guts. And some guts. Kendra. So happy you met that. Oh my god, come here. Oh god, baby. I was so scared. Oh. Really? Yeah. Well, you took your time to come in. Baby, come on. Don't scold me. Baby, you know me already. I, I don't like hospitals, okay? And anytime I come here, I, I, I get goosebumps all over. I'm so sorry. I almost had a nervous breakdown. Anything I can tell you? No. Um, I forgot to mention it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you forgot. I'm sure. Baby, I got you some food and um, I'm afraid it's only pap. 
that's what it, yeah, that's what the doctor told me I could get you. But you know, I'm looking at your condition right now. I I guess you're sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe I'm so sorry, okay? Forgive me, okay? I'm just I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you so much, baby. Mm, I love you. I promise I'm gonna make it up to you, okay? I love you so much. I'll make it up to you. Love you. So, um, you're ready now? Yeah. Okay. Do you mind if I feed you? Okay. You want to feed me? Yummy! <laughs> I know, right, baby? This is made. I'm sorry. Me?
Stop crying, talk to me. What is it? <laughs> Why are you crying? Get this there. Can this there? <laughs> Semikoviara speaking. You see, Your Majesty, what happened was that Ken Obiora died of an overdose of value administered on him by his doctor, Dr. May Okocha. What? Sorry, 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 but this together, it's very difficult for me to take in. Are you trying to tell me that me, my cousin Ken, the killer shot to die? What for? I'm sorry, Mr. Obiora, but that's the truth. You see, the bottle containing the drugs which was given to your cousin was discovered on his deathbed by the matron here, who also provided Dr. Mel Kocha the same kind of drug some two days before. Doctor, what you speak is around nonsense. Dr. Mel Kocha has no reason whatsoever to kill Ken. Professor, do you realize that it was the same doctor that cared for him? Struggled very hard to bring him back to life. How is it possible, bro? How is it possible for her to turn around? Take his life. Please take it easy, Mr. Ubiora. You see, nobody nobody has answers to those questions. But all I know was that she was irrational at that point. So I think she did what came to her mind. How? Make up for crying out loud. Don't stand there and ask why. You had the doctor, Dr. May, he killed Ken. Just be punished for it. I can't believe all of this is over. Yeah. Very soon, my dearly departed Ken will be buried and I will come into my fortune. Hey, 
don't jump the guns. Our fortunes, you mean? Remember, we planned this together. Of course. Calm down, okay? I did everything I did because I wanted two of us to be together. Mm. But funny enough, that stupid doctor managed to remove all suspicions away from us. My God. I can't believe this happened. How could someone with his right senses could have done such a thing? Could you? Well, that is of no consequence to me. What I know is, May has always had a thing for Ken, but I don't know why she didn't realize it herself. Even long before I came into the picture. Well, that is a far-fetched thing to say. So... Run down the train! Run! Run down, Ophiara! Run! Calm down! Better don't take laws into your hands. Take it easy! Mr. Ben, please! You're sorry? Um, you're sorry? I took you like a sister and you killed my cousin. I mean, and you told me you're sorry. Calm down. Take it easy. I'm sorry. But why, Dr. May? I can't believe you could so cold-bloodedly take a life. It's never been in you. So you performed mercy killing. Who told you you can play God? Officer, sir! Arrest her. Yes, sir. Dr. May, you are under arrest. You have the right to be silent for anything you do. If it is a case you come to get on my way. Get on! Uh, officer, officer. Sir. Can you allow her to dress properly while you go watch her? Yes, sir. Go her she All right, let's go. Self. Okay? God! Imagine. No really wedded couple. Ha! But you don't have to fall sick because Ken is dead. But take it easy, you stop crying. Baby, how can I calm down? How can I calm down when. When, when Ken is lying cold as a mortuary? How can I? Hey, look. Kendra, you can't carry on like this, okay? I know how you feel, I know you're hurting. But if you carry on this way, you're going to break down and then fall sick. And I'm sure you don't want that to happen right now, do you? Listen, it's, it's better if I fall sick, you know? I, I just want to fall sick and die just like Ken did. Maybe we can meet again and then everything is going to be all right. There's no Kendra without Ken. And just because of one insignificant quake, I've been made a widow. Just, just look at me. Michael, promise me. Please promise me you're going to bring his murderer to the book. Promise me you're going to make sure Dr. May pays for what she's done to me. It's okay. You have my word on this one, okay? I promise you I'll do everything within my power to see to it that May faces the law. But as for you, you really need to stop doing this to yourself. You're killing yourself. You need to please get yourself together. I know how this feels. Yes, I understand. You must have really, really loved my brother in your own way. But hey, he's dead now, you know. And no amount of tears will bring Ken back. Please. You need to stay strong. Oh, I, can't, I, I can't help it but cry, you know. Just, I can't believe everything is just gone. I... She's in love with me. 